In this video, we'll be studying a simple neutralization reaction, and then we'll also um, provide a definition for salts. A neutralization reaction is an acid-base reaction that produces a neutral solution of salt and water. So a great example would be hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. Now we decided it's going to make a salt and water. So what salt do you think might be made from HCl and NaOH? Well, you're probably recognizing this as a double replacement reaction. So hydrogen comes in and it bumps out sodium. Sodium goes to where hydrogen was. So instead of HCl, it's NaCl. And instead of just OH, the H comes in and it's HOH, which is the same thing, of course, as water. You'll also remember that we studied net ionic reactions. And all of the species that were aqueous split up and were dissolved as ions in the solution. So we could say that um, these ions would be floating around um, in addition to these as well, because this is also aqueous. And the sodium chloride that we make, um, that will be ions as well. And then of course, the liquid um, water um, should just be written like that. That does not split apart. And you remember, in a net ionic reaction, we cross out everything that appears on both the left and the right. And we have sodium on the left, sodium on the right. We have chloride on the left and chloride on the right. So essentially what we have um, is a synthesis reaction where we're mixing um, H and OH to make water. Okay, let's look at the definition for a salt. A salt is an acid whose hydrogen has been replaced with a metal. You got that? So it's an acid, and then we take away the hydrogen, and we put a metal where the hydrogen was. So for example, HCl, that's an acid. What if we were to replace the hydrogen with a metal? Well, that would give us a salt. For example, potassium chloride. Now, it could be any metal that you put here. It could be magnesium chloride. It could be sodium chloride. It doesn't really matter. They're all salts. Try this one. You might recognize this as acetic acid or vinegar. Acetic acid, um, when dissolved in water, will give off this proton right here. So this is um, the acidic hydrogen. So uh, maybe the salt would be something like sodium acetate. Let's do one more for practice. Um, this is hypochlorous acid. It's an acid because this hydrogen is given off when dissolved in water. This is um, hypochlorite. So if we replace the hydrogen with a metal, I don't know, maybe like sodium, for example, we would have sodium hypochlorite. So these three are acids, and these three are salts. In fact, um, this salt right here, sodium hypochlorite, um, that's known as bleach.